Hello, welcome to Map Libre tutorial number 10. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add some uh, GF animations uh, to an interactive map. In the last video, I show you how to add uh, videos um, to an interactive map. So uh, besides adding MP4, uh, we can add any uh, GF animation. So let me first show you what it looks like. So if you go to the demos uh, website here and uh, scroll down here, find add underscore uh, gif then this is what it looks like so you're going to have a map and you can add animations to any corners uh, of the map and uh, so the map is still kind of sweetie so you have sweetie you can also uh, display the map uh, in sweetie and you can have a uh, transparent so the background can be transparent or you can also add a, a outline uh, a border to the map you can also have text uh, emojis all kind of stuff so this makes um, the maps a lot more fun this is just one example. Uh, there's another one here called Hyperloop. Uh, you can add some other animations, for example, like this, and you can change the animation. Uh, animation. So it's very much similar, but it's super easy to do. Uh, pretty much, you just need one line of code, then you can create something like this uh, easily. So let me show you how to do that uh, step by step. So go to uh, Leap Map uh, website and then uh, Leap uh, Map Libre. Then scroll down to find this one, add uh, GIF. And again, you can uh, run this one on Google Collab. Or you can download this one to your local computer and then you can uh, open it up. So for me, I'm going to uh, run this one on my local computer. I'm going to open JupyterLab. Then I can show you step by step uh, how to do that. So it's open and then it's uh, add GIF. Double click and open. Uh, zoom in a little bit. All right, so it's very simple. Look at this one. Just a couple lines code. And so what we are going to do here is to import uh, the map liberate uh, module. And then we can just create an interactive map um, by specifying the center, the zoom level, and the style. We're going to use the position. So this one doesn't require uh, a map title API key. Then you can just uh, find out the URL to the GF animation. So we can basically use any uh, direct URL to a GF animation. Then we can call this function add uh, image. So let me run this one first just to show you what it looks like. And it's something like this. Uh, pretty cool, right? So both the left on the right, so the uh, bottom left corner and bottom right corner, uh, we also have some uh, text in here. So this is the first one, and this one is being added to the bottom right. So basically, it's this one, this uh, slot here. And if you need to verify, so make sure that if you uh, provide any uh, URL, you need to make sure that the URL can open and you can see uh, the GF animation. If there's not a direct URL, sometimes it may not work. So you need to be careful about that. And then just call the add image function. You can press a uh, shift tab on your keyboard to bring up the hail documentation. So we can give an ID. Uh, basically, the ID is uh, base, uh, the yeah the ID is giving a, a, a layer name. So it, it, this one is not required. So we're basically providing the second one, the image. So we provide the link to the image, and you can specify the width and height. Sometimes. If the image is too big, you can specify this one. So this is 250 and 250, and then the position. Uh, you can also specify the coordinates, or either the coordinates or the position. So the coordinates will be uh, whatever you want to put on the any location on the map. So it's the longitude and also the latitude, or you can provide just the bottom right, bottom left, uh, the, basically the four corners uh, if you want to. So in here, we only provide the bottom right, so it's going to put uh, under here. And similarly, we can add some text. So you can specify text. And this one, for example, the emoji, you can find any emoji on the internet. Just copy, paste, and then just use the add uh, text. And similarly, you can see, you can provide the text, the phone size, the phone color, and also the painting. So everything is customizable. Uh, you can also back the background color. So by default, uh, it's white color. Uh, you can customize it and also the border radius. So you can see this is a little bit rounded. And everything can, can be customized. I will show you how to customize it. For example, uh, we can add the background color, for example, equal to uh, any hex color code, or I can just maybe red color. And oops, uh, let me see. It's supposed to work. Otherwise, it might be a bug. Uh, BG, okay, uh, because I have two more in here. All right, so now you see it's the red background. And also the routing, the padding, the phone size, everything is can easily customized. For example, I can also put the position, uh, P O S I T I O N, equal to I can put it at the top left corner. 
All right, so now it's on the top left corner, so it's easy uh, to do. And for example, I can change it to maybe a white color, so be uh, color code F F F F F F. Then it should be white color. Yeah, super flexible. So this is one way, and then the second image. So the image in here at the lower right corner, because this is a square, so you will see the black, uh, the white color border here. If you have some other images that are not square, sometimes you might want it to be transparent. So by default, the background color is white, but you can change it to transparent. So if you change it to transparent, you see here right now it's transparent. So if you don't specify, you basically just a white color. So let me show you the differences. If you provide this one, you will see it's going to be block uh, the map beneath. So this is if something not what you want, then you can change it to whatever color. For example, I can also hex color code and then we can change it, for example, to yellow, so red, green, and then zero, zero should be yellow color, right? So just like the text, uh, you can change the background color pretty easily. So I'm going to return it to transparent, so it's a little bit um, better. So this is how you can customize the map. And after that, you can easily just export the map. So I can just map to uh, HTML uh, to HTML. And then the function. So here, just provide the map, for example, gf.html. And then by default, it's going to open and preview. So, oops. Uh, yeah, preview equal to false. You might just open it preview equal to true. And then it's open this one. See? So now I have this one. And then you can deploy on the web uh, to whatever way uh, you like. And I have the other example here called Hyperloop, uh, also very interesting. So I have these two. And if this is something you want, you can open your uh, more tools, developer tools. So you just need to figure out the URL to these two images. And probably somewhere here, you can click, uh, not this one, the Hong Kong, and this is one. And there's another one here. So you can see uh, this one, the background is transparent. And this one probably one at the lower left, one at the, the, uh, on the right. So we can just copy this one. So let me see copy this URL and then we can come to the notebooks I can customize it so probably it's this one all right and if you don't know the width and height you can remove it at first so in that way you don't uh, distort uh, the, uh, the image and the next one so last second last one here oops no this one oops uh, one URL there should be another one here okay this is another one forgot which one is which one uh number six let me see here okay it's a different one so let me copy this one we can change it later you can find all the url from uh, the internet from whatever you like so press this one so now i have the two oops perfect uh it's a it's a little bit uh swap so you can let me remove this one and put it here uh switch so you can see exactly what I did uh, in that uh, demo. And again, let me don't uh, export the HTML, run this one. Cool. So now I have this same thing. And you can change the, the style. So if this you want to change to something else, for example, 3D terrain. So you can just type 3D uh, terrain and run it. So now you have this under 3D terrain. So you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can rotate. Uh, you, can, you can also add 3D buildings. So just like this one here. Uh, if there's not something you want, I can do this way. So, okay, so I'm going to change it to street. And then lastly, I can add uh, 3D buildings. So here, just m.add uh, 3D buildings. And let's see. Oops. Uh, add 3D buildings. Sometimes doesn't work. Let me move it to finish. It should, otherwise it's back. Okay. And now it's, it's working. So let me zoom to maybe uh, New York City. See if we can see the buildings. Okay. All right. So you need to have zoom level at least uh, 16. Oops. Ah. Interesting. Something. This might be about X3D buildings. It should work. Uh, if not, uh, I need to look into that. Anyway, so this is the, uh, the suite. Uh, from the map tiler so you can see here i can add this one uh, let me see if this one has 3d or not yeah this one does have 3d so uh probably i just need to look at the source code 
or I have a notebook in here. I can download this notebook. I can put into um, the notebook in here and then I can open it uh, just to show you what source code uh, it was. So let me see here and then Hyperloop. Uh, refresh. Hyperloop. All right, so here's the source code. Oh, I need to specify the zoom level. Yeah, interesting. It should be very much similar. So let me run this one. Okay, so now it works. Uh, anyway, you, if you want, you can try out the source code um, by copying this one. And I'm not sure why it doesn't work on the other example. Yeah. Anyway, and you can also turn the layer on and off, uh, zoom in, zoom out. So this is pretty cool. And you can add any animations uh, you want uh, to the imagery pretty easily. All right, so that's all for this uh, video. I hope you find it useful. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.